What's up everybody, my name is Ethan Doucette over here at Audi Fall River and today I wanted to show you this 2024 Audi S8. What's up everybody, once again it's Ethan over here at Audi Fall River and today on this beautiful sunny day I want to show you this 2024 Audi S8. So starting at the front of this vehicle we can see that we have Audi's new Matrix LED headlights. They look amazing, super bright at dark, very good headlights. Also of course you have automatic high beams as well. Got some headlight washers down here and if you look a little lower we have some vents along with our sensors for this car's lane keep assist. Now moving over we see we have this beautiful massive black grille with the black Audi logo and that is part of our Audi uh, black optic package. Makes the car look very good and also we have some nice sport badging right here. This car is equipped with the 4 liter V8 and it makes 500 horsepower and 568 pound feet of torque in this car and this thing moves. Now once again if we look a little bit lower we can see we have another sensor for our lane keep assist and uh, self-driving and a really nice aggressive front splitter as well. But moving down the side of the vehicle we also have some beautiful 21 inch 10 spoke black wheels with some nice black brake calipers as well and some massive brakes to stop this boat of a vehicle. Um, and the black wheels really complement the gloss black paint on this car and it just looks amazing in my opinion. Um, of course, on the inside of the mirror, you'll have your blind spot monitor system. Very good to have in this car, once again, because of its size. Moving on, we can see we have our gas door on the right side, and this is true for all Audi models. And keep going to the back. Now, this is where we can see my favorite thing about this car, or at least one of them, and that is our beautiful taillight. Now, in the, your settings of the car, if you don't like how the taillight looks, you can actually change what it looks like in those settings, and I think that is a brilliant feature of this car. It just looks so well. Once again, part of the black optic package, you have this black strip that goes through, more black Audi badging here and here as well with this redesigned sport badge. It all looks super nice. Moving down lower, once again, a really aggressive diffuser along with this quad exhaust, all part of your S Sport package and your black optic package as well. So let's check out the trunk space on this S8. Now on the inside of the trunk we can see that we also have a spare set of caps as well as some floor mats, some safety kits like your roadside assistance kit as well. And so that's the trunk space on this 2024 Audi S8 and to close it it's up here just hit that button to close it or if you want to lock the car as well you can hit the lock button. Once again, I just want to take in how beautiful this car looks. You have the black on black on black, and it just looks amazing in the sunlight here in Fall River. So now let's check out the back seat of this 2024 Audi S8. Now let's move on to the back seat of this 2024 Audi S8, and this is where I believe the magic truly happens for this car. Starting in the middle, we can see that this car has a rear display as well as the front too and you have all of your controls for things like your seats, your ambient lighting, your blinds, as well as your radio controls, and also just your settings and your sound settings as well, again for the radio. I wanna point out that this car has a 24 speaker Bang & Olsen sound system, which sounds truly incredible. And moving a little bit down from the center screen, we can see that we have your controls for just moving your seat back and forth, and it's nice to have these controls digitally and as an analog control itself, so you don't have to go through a bunch of menus and things like that as well. So I'd like to point out that these seats do recline fully if you just hit that button like that right there, same as the front. If you put it forward then you can really start to see how far you can go back. But if you'd like to, if you want more leg room, then you can hit this button in the center and then your passenger front seat you gain full control to it so then you can put that up and out of your way really cool thing to have in a car like this. This is a car that I believe you buy if you want to be driven by someone else because I could not imagine sitting in those beautiful front seats after being in the back seat of this car. It's just unparalleled. On the door panel, we have more of our beautiful speakers, but there are some nice key controls I'd like to point out, like your controls for your automatic blinds. You have those on the sides and also you have one in the back as well all super fast as well which is nice to have. I'd like to also point out that this car features two sunroofs. You have one for the rear passengers and one for the front and those are controlled right here if you can see. 
open that right there by using a window control back here. And then the front one as well is right next to it so you can let in all of the light. Now moving up to the roof, we can see that it is finished in Alcantara, which is super cool, just like the door cards. And you have some nice ambient lighting, which is totally configurable to your liking in this menu back here. And also you do have your vanity mirrors in the rear as well. I think it's all super well done back here. Now, a couple other cool things about this rear seat configuration is that you do have a house outlet. It's a 115 volt, super powerful. It can power things like a laptop, which is super nice to have. Also, you have your cup holders back here as well. And if there's a little tab on the back of the screen that if you pull up, then you get access to your tables, which you just pull out right there and then you fold over. So then you can do work on a laptop or take notes or anything like that. I think that this car is truly amazing. They really thought of everything I believe. So let's put the table away. See, it just folds away nice and easily. Put this center thing back down. Once again, if you want more storage, you have it back there. This car does have uh, pass-through, which is nice for longer items. Anyways, with all that being said, I think it's time to check out the front seats of this 2024 Audi S8. Now, moving on to the front seat of this 2024 S8, we can truly see that the magic from the back does continue to the front. Um, also, on all four seats of this vehicle, you do have the massage function, which is really nice to have, and that is toggled by a little switch on the side of the seat. And it brings up your massage window, which is really nice to have. You have so many different options. You can change your intensity if you'd like to stop. Just hit the button right there and then exit out of the tab. Anyways, moving on to what's really important up here is the quality of everything. Audi has taken their interior for A6 and A7 and changed it to really fit the luxury price point of this vehicle. And that starts out by doing the diamond stitch Alcantara on all of the doors, as well as your metal plated Bang & Olsen speakers and some very nice gloss black trim up here. And once again, extended leather to your whole entire dashboard and upper part of your door cards. It all is very nice, super, super sleek, and it looks super good. Now, moving up, we do see that we do have our seat memory function. We can store two positions up here. So it's if you have one chauffeur for part of the week and then another chauffeur for the second part of the week, you can have them have their seat posi uh, positions up here, which is really nice to have. Um, moving down, we do have some more storage in the door as well, as well as, of course, your lower storage area as well. Also, super nice window controls. They're nice and aluminum, feels super good. You do have heated mirrors as well as power folding mirrors, which is controlled by this tab down here. So moving on to the dashboard of this vehicle, we can see that on the left-hand side, we have our light controls. ID makes it super easy. Once again, this car does have auto high beams, so you never even really have to touch these controls. You can see that we have our sport gauges equipped right now. But if you go into your menu settings, you can change those to be more traditional if that's what you like. But we can go through our five screens here. We have just our vehicle information. We have our driver assist information, our radio, our telephone, and our navigation. And if you'd like to change the view, ID makes it super simple. They just give you a button that says view. And it's super responsive, nice and quick, super good feature to have. Moving a little bit down, we can see that we have our controls for our adaptive cruise control. Um, this car will drive itself on the highway for you. Paired with this adaptive cruise control, it makes it so it's a minimal effort driving experience while still being engaging from this four liter V8. Also helped by these nice aluminum paddle shifters up on the steering wheel as well. Anyways, moving over to the right, we have our wiper controls and moving a little bit farther, we have our infotainment. Now, before we look at the infotainment, I just wanna look a little bit up to these AC vents and it's another area where Audi has truly paid super close attention to detail. And if you just want the sleek look of the dash of this car just turn your AC vents off and then the car will automatically put a cover over there so you don't have to look at them and they're in the way it's so nice it feels luxurious it looks luxurious just like everything else about this car anyways I'm gonna put it on because it's 95 degrees here in Fall River moving a little bit down though we can see that we have the 10 inch displays that Audi has used once again super responsive super fast on the left
left hand side we have our radio, our media, our phone and our navigation as well. This display is so nice and quick, really does a nice job. Once again moving down again, we can see we have another display primarily for your climate controls as well as a few other things like your auto start stop information, your garage. If you want to turn this top display off you hit that button right there. Also, this car is equipped with self-parking, which is activated by this button right here. And next to that, we have a button that will bring up all of our camera options. Now, Audi has equipped this car with a 3D surround view, which makes it easy to park this behemoth of a vehicle. And once again, you have cameras everywhere. I mean, you can see your side view if you want through this 3D camera. But if you just want your normal settings, hit that button right there. You see you have your front wide camera, you have an overview, rear camera, of course. And the thing that Audi does that I haven't seen that I really like is they have cameras that focus on your wheels so you don't curb them on anything. Makes it super easy to park this vehicle once again, which you don't even have to do because of the self-parking. All super easy to use, I love it. And if you look to the right of that self-parking button, you can see that we have all of our controls for our driver assistance. And you have three modes, you have your maximum, your basic, and your individual, which you can configure to your liking for many different options. But once again, I wanna focus on an area where Audi paid attention to detail, and that is with these armrests up front. You can pull the tab up here to lift it up if you want. Makes it super nice and configurable. It's all the little things in this car that add up to make it a great driving experience. Now, panning over to the right, we can see that Audi has really done a good job with making this car look like a work of art. You can see once again you have the beautiful diamond stitch Alcantara on the door paired with the brushed aluminum and the gloss black. It looks amazing and it's super high quality and it feels amazing too. Once again if you look over at the seat, the seat is also perforated diamond stitched black leather which once again I mentioned earlier it is heated, cooled and massaging in all four seats of this vehicle so everybody will have a nice time. This car also does have double paned acoustic glass so you can keep the outside from coming in and if you're playing very loud music on the inside which I would do with this amazing speaker setup it'll keep people from outside from hearing it. My name is Ethan Doucette and thank you again for watching my tour on the 2024 Audi S8 Prestige. If you have any questions you can reach out to us at 508-6 5555. Have a great day and thank you for watching.